Well, I'm back to the beach that we dug gooey duck to do it again. This is just about a three foot minus tide. It's low tide right now. And I hope I can get back with you to show us digging a gooey duck. I believe I found a gooey duck. Ha, no. My son found a gooey duck. That's my son and uh, his wife, Emma. Anyway, that might be a gooey duck. Now I'm gonna have my son feel the neck to see if he feels a bunch of barnacles on it. Oh, well, it's nice and soft. Ooh, okay. Yep. So what we'll do, put the bucket over the hole. For the second time this, well, it'll be the third time this year for a gooey duck, and we'll start digging. We'll get back to you. Well, I can start digging now. <laughs> I don't have to get back to you. It's just gonna be a little jiggly. I gotta put the sand. Sorry that I can't show you everything on the camera. I'm gonna put the sand behind the behind the buck or where I'm standing. And then after cutting the 45, we'll go straight down. And we're gonna get some of the sand out of the way. Just keep circling the hole. Careful cutting across. Oh, wait. Nope. Guess what? False alarm. Horse clam with a smooth neck. Okay, set that aside. Just in case. Sometimes you can get fooled and a gooey duck is down there. What you'd see is water. But right here is where the horse clam was. You'd see water from its neck. So we're gonna get the hole filled in. Keep looking. Sorry about the wind. That's what you do when you finish digging a hole is you fill it in as best you can. All right, we'll get back to looking for a gooey duck. They are hard to find out here. And for those of you that asked from the prior video, this is Port Townsend Bay. So I'm finding gooey ducks along Port Townsend Bay. There's Port Townsend Paper Mill, that's Port Townsend over there. No joke, this is a big gooey duck. Now he feels me walking towards him even though he's three, four feet deep. I'm gonna get really close to him and then show you the top of him. digging this. Go ahead and bring the shovels buckets. This one you never know. Three three to five pounder. We'll get her get them weighed up if we get them at the end. Again, if we get them, this isn't a sure thing. There he is, right in the middle. Okay. Start digging at a 45. This will help us down the road. Okay, I'll get on this side. 45 towards the neck. Because I'm using a bucket, I want to have an angle there. And then I dig straight down towards the gooey duck. So now it's just straight down digging. Try not to scrape your shovel across, just lift like that and then lift. Yep. This might be a, a wet, messy dig. Hi, he's on this side. Yep. I might be at his neck already, so I gotta be careful. No, he's still diving. Nice soft sand though. I'm trying to jam ahead of you. Thank you. Still see a lot of water pushing. Oop. Getting out of breath. I can see where the siphon's breathing though. I'll show you in a second. I see where it's at. Okay. Nice. See it? Let's see. 
trying to get as much of it as possible. Okay, go for it. Uh, this this is neck. you found his neck. Dig dirt around it. Yep. Get it out of there because you're not going to have much time. I run out of breath on these. Whew. Keep going. You only have five minutes or less before the sands will cave in over the bucket. Water's building. You feel a shell yet? Right behind you with the film. Okay. Sorry about blocking, but we gotta do that. Just try and keep keep the butt crack out of the video this time. <laughs> yeah, he he uh he was showing a little derriere on my last video. So that's how we do it. Try and keep the video down. Bucket. Can you hold his shell, shake the neck and shell at the same time? I can do one side. I'm trying to get it around the other. Okay. Because water's building up, almost ready to spill over, and that's where you're going to lose him. Oh, yeah. Wiggle, wiggle, real fast. Yeah. Wiggle, wiggle. Oh, yeah. See, I'm coaching him. I'm coaching him really good. Here. Just keep wiggling. The, oh, and the hydraulics will come out. It'll just come out. It's, it's a matter of liquefaction. It's starting to spill over the bucket now. Yep. If you need me to dive on him, I will. Don't let him win. Tell me if I'm taking over. That's all I want to know. That's you. Okay, here. Video. Video. All right. Yeah, he's a nice big one. on the one side of them that I'm going to try and release and that might help or it's a rock what are you what is that thing next to him it's like an old dead horse clam yep that's the dead horse clam Slow. Holy crap. Okay. Yes, this is what I look like. Anyway, that's what we came for. This might be a bigger one yet. So perfect. Oh, my son's finishing filling in the hole. Over here in the bucket. I have probably my biggest our biggest because we both dug it our biggest gooey duck so far and i'll show you the weight at the end it wasn't more than a minute of walking and i'm on to another gooey duck right here easily another gooey duck so i'm gonna maybe shut the thing off here we're gonna rest a second and then we'll get started and i'll video this one too I'm gonna try and get my son to solo dig this one. And I will only jump in to reap the reward to pull the gooey duck out if he can't. Or I'll take over if he's gassed. But I'm still gassed. This was a little bit quick for, you know, digging that big one right there. And then, yeah. And digging the next one. I am still out of breath. I'm getting too old, as you can see in the video. Not terribly old. And uh, today, even though the video won't come out right away, but today is Christmas Eve in July. So that's why kind of the beard plus I was sick. Yeah, I had COVID and it wasn't great. 
I was sick and uh, well that knocked me down a little bit and I didn't shave and well here I am unshaved still for oh a month so yeah I've been uh, I don't know free of it since uh, the 17th of June roughly I'll just keep circling him and hold the bucket for when he's ready to ask for it the bucket with the hole that's what I use I don't use a big barrel don't need to the eelgrass holds the sand in and the water kind of and uh, William you probably want to start that dam behind you where the water's flowing so just letting them know because the water will keep creeping in and make a big mess careful scraping across you might be a shallow one again too I see it boiling <laughs> I know that works so I'll just hang out here and oh, the last video I did these those gooey ducks were a lot easier than these might become this we don't know yet but the other one was definitely hard to dig um, it's suction under the water and sand not to mention the uh, there's the top of his neck I think just yep right there no careful of cutting your hands you find his neck yet you keep digging anyway this might be a big guy too just uh, was showing just a little tiny bit of his neck up oh, there's his neck I seen it squirt right in the center of the bucket as long as you create a little miniature dam here like that to keep the water from flowing in it'll keep sand from collapsing too and you can keep hand digging and I'm gonna keep kicking some sand my contributions to keep some of the water out not all of the water some of the water out so right now there's about three inches of the gooey duck sticking up maybe four or five it's hard to tell it's shadowed in here yeah he's got a nice fat neck Are you feeling the shell yet oh yeah okay just be careful of those random shells that will slice your fingers open yep. be bloody carnage yeah the other gooey duck what was keeping it in was an old dead horse clam shell the whole shell both sides so I had to get it out before I could, you know, unlock the lock to get him out. But he was still really stuck down there with the suction from his tail. Yeah, you know, when you push on him and you see it squirt, yeah. his tail's getting smaller. So you'll be able to do that too. Found the extra shell. Okay. Just always pay attention to the sidewalls to see how much mud is building up. Yep. Sorry, people. He's got to move when I'm videoing. I'll just uh, keep moving with them. It's kind of cool. We're back up to two gooey duck again for this trip. Maybe we'll make a third one. Uh, get the shell out of the way. These gooey duck are not that easy to locate out here. We just happen to be lucky and find a couple with their necks sticking up. So, those of you want to give this a try, remember follow the rules and regulations. And uh, good luck. I can tell my son's gassed and I'm getting ready to jump, maybe getting ready to jump in to reap the reward of getting this one out. And muddy too, or sandy. I think you'll get this one. His second solo dig ever. <laughs> I'm poking at him because he's getting tired, I can tell. <laughs> so, you getting him? Wiggle, wiggle. Is he moving upward? Yeah, he's just moving. pull up as you wiggle fast. Don't tear the neck off of the shell. And I'm saying that for all you viewers out there, it is illegal to retain the neck of a gooey duck. You have to have the shell attached. So that too. He's pulling up and he's wiggling really fast. Pulling up, wiggling real fast. You got to be careful not to tear it. If you tear that neck off, you are subject to a fine. And court date possibly so is he coming he's loose okay you can wiggle f as fast as you can as you're pulling up and the liquefaction will make it happen 
Hell yeah, I see the net coming up. Come on, baby. Out of breath. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit as he comes up with it. Wow. He's a big bodied clam too. Throw him over here. So I will get back to you when it's time to uh, show you both gooey ducks together. Okay, well we're still catching our breath at this hole that we filled. I want to point that out again. The sun solo dig is a short neck. The one I got out with my son, long neck gooey duck. Both in and around four plus to five pounds. Guess what? My daughter-in-law found a gooey duck, we believe. It's got the right type of neck. It's a little skinnier. And it is smooth, so I do believe it's a gooey duck in a puddle of water. <laughs> so we're gonna dig it. And this time I'm not gonna video this one until we're into it a little more. We're gonna dig around the bucket, we're gonna get water out of the way, build a dam with our scoops, and see if we can get it. The hole around the neck appears to be well used for years, so I'm pretty confident in this one. Fooled again. Nice horse clam. Gooey duck number three is in the hole up against the water, so we gotta be quick on this. I'll get back to you when we get closer. Turn it off. All right. As the uh, gooey duck's getting dug out, I was recording. I don't know if, if I was recording. So just bear with me. This will be another one of those where we finish strong, I hope. Feel the top, top of the shell? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Four feet to the water's edge. Right here. Tide's coming in. You got to work this one fast. Gooey duck number three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's blocking the hole pretty good so you know you don't have to <laughs> if it works for you do what you got to do not what the video does they want to see it though as much as i can through the hole wow see wiggle wiggle just wiggle back and forth How's he doing? The shell broke, I think. Shell might have broke? Okay, that's okay. You only have uh, three feet from the water's edge now. Get closer. No hurry, just three feet. <laughs> uh, don't get a sunburn. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to step up. Give it a minute. Wiggle him out, and then I'll show when you pull him out. Tide is getting higher and it's moving on. Okay. It broke pretty good. Yeah. Go ahead and pull that uh, bucket out, throw it aside, I'll start burying the hole. Okay. We'll get back to you on the three gooey ducks. Kind of shadowed in there. You want to turn your back to me? Okay. Give you more of a sight on these gooey ducks. There's three. Last one we dug was the smallest one. Again, sorry about the wind. It's just picking up here pretty good. duck number four <laughs> I'm keeping you open here because I'm gonna say quack quack number five right here gooey duck number five right there if we want it gooey duck number six if we want it my goodness look how close the water is which one should we dig all right we're gonna dig the first one This gooey duck might be too big to dig because of it having no eel grass around the edges. We haven't even got to the top of the neck. All the sand's caving in. All right, I found its neck. So stay tuned, we'll get back with you. I know the wind's blowing. 
I just got done showing you that gooey duck hole. We had to give up. Too much water rushing in. We're gonna give up on this gooey duck hole. Okay, and the one here we tried, the tide's rushing in, he's trying. He just felt the top of the neck now. These are all really, really long gooey ducks. And we don't have enough arm length. We'd have had to bring the garbage can like some of you bring. That's just the way it works for us. So anyway, you know, this is fun. We got three this time. I'm sure we're not gonna dig anymore. If we do, it'll be over in that grass if we see any a little higher up on the land. Uh, I appreciate you watching this video. You know, when I've been doing these little spiels about trying to get 100 subscribers, 200 subscribers, and eventually 300 subscribers, I'm already almost to 300. Every time I do these videos, you guys reach my goals before I finish putting the videos out. So I'm gonna put up 500, uh, 500 subscribers as my new goal. I appreciate you guys. Those of you that have already subscribed, thank you. Again, thank you for watching. Please share. Press the notification bell, likes, all that good stuff. All right, back to the gooey ducks. One more time. There's three gooey ducks in here. And we got two horse clam trying for gooey ducks. Well, I'm on the Hoods Canal now, and I'm going to see about weighing these gooey ducks that we got. We're down getting steamers and oysters. My son's just finishing up on shucking oysters, so I'll get back with you on the weights. if you can see that 3.31 or 32 pounds oh. <laughs> and it's a good thing he's already broke smallest one all right that's the smallest one 3.31 pounds the next smallest one do this again all right gotta reset it Five point four pounds. It's a big gooey duck. Five point four pounds. Okay. That's the medium one. And the next one. Get it all situated. Trying to be in a hurry here. Okay. Oh, this one tears through, so give me a second. A lot of extra weight okay I'm starting to lift 5.92 pounds almost six pounds Wow it's amazing almost six pounds all right good deal there you go for your weights